SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. carry for Ezekiel Elliott and this will be a gain of five as he gets Ezekiel it to the 30. Cowboy ball carrier. Mike That's a really Taylor nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're going to smother it but a lot of the blitzers they come in a little bit high they don't have great leverage. Rush coming and he's taken down. First wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. and 10. Prescott connects here with a tight end Blake Jarwin. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And he will find his man on the outside. Complete to number seven three. yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Our quarterback matchup here is certainly one that bears watching. Dak Prescott and Jared Goff. They finished second and third in the NFL in passing yards a year ago behind Jameis Winston. Prescott at 4,902, and then Goff at 4,638. But Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker, and they found one. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 15. Touchdown, Dallas. Although it's more commonplace now than at any other time in the NFL, it's still tough to think about throwing a rookie quarterback right into the fire week one. But guess what? He handled the fire awfully well and threw his first touchdown pass. down throw for Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Being chased down left. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. This one caught left side by Cooper. Complete to Amari Cooper. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. This to Jarwin. 
And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Looking to throw. Prescott. Pass incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Finding some room in midfield. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of the end result, 21 yards. Down, Cowboys. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And the return will stop right around the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. To throw is Prescott. And that is intercepted by the pro bowler, Jalen Ramsey. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Prescott's pass. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. Ten yards. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now Prescott. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he takes this one down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after half. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A 41 yard. A big play here for the Cowboys. 41 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I am often wonder why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. Three yards the gain there, second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. A gain of three. 
Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. 43 yards. Now Wright completes it to Jarwin. Prescott's pass. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown, Dallas. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination. now Prescott and he's got his favorite target yet again it's complete and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down 22 yards on the catch and run a first down you cannot write these guys off just yet not with a quarterback like that under center you mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off not yet not a chance not with him We've... it's caught inside the 25 and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 34 yards to gain that time, another first down. But defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself. Self, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so... And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Here's Johnny Hecker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's going to let it go again. That's going to be caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown. A big play there. Now with his... So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you.